time is it? Oh my god, I can't even... Let me just reach the lights. <sighs> wow, it's still dark. You guys like my Spider-Man case? It's, uh, it's pretty nice. Okay, let's check the time. 3.52. Oh my god. So... That's... <laughs> I mean, that's, that's pretty early. All right, good morning, guys. Um, it's currently 3.57 a.m. And uh, I was supposed to wake up early, but um, I wasn't supposed to wake up this early. But um, I don't know why, but I'm just, like, during the middle of the night, I just completely just, my, my nervous system just decided to, like, just wake me up. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it's because I'm too excited, but, you know, I just, I woke up and... Here I am. So, what am I going to be doing today? Well, today is the start of my trip to Tasmania. And, um, I'm going to Tasmania for two reasons. You probably want to know what these reasons are, since the video title is called Why Did I Travel 1100 Kilometers to Tasmania? So, um, here's the reason why. So, here I am on the World Cube Association website on my iPad. And, um, if you click on, uh, competitions or... And then, uh, you thought I was going to go on that competition, didn't you? If you look at all of the upcoming competitions, there's one in, uh, Sorrel, Tasmania. And, uh, why have a look at this? It's on December 12th to December 13th. And, uh, it's in Tasmania. And it's the only one out of all of these that are, you know, within a 1,000 kilometer radius of me. It's actually more than 1,000, it's like 1,100, but, like, you know, that's not that much. 1,100 is also the straight line distance. Uh, if you travel by cars and also you count the Spirit of Tasmania, it's 1,400, I think. I, I haven't done the math. But as you can see here, this is the only one to you know, just be close proximity of me. Uh, except for the Brisbane one, but uh, that was announced later. And also the Adelaide one, but... That was also announced later, and also because LA is not within 1,000 kilometers, uh, it's like 1,600, so. Basically, you know, I'm just going to be traveling for that one competition since, you know, I am a passionate Cuba. I've never heard that before, but uh, I'm not that passionate to the point where I, I will literally travel all the way there just for one competition. <laughs> Imagine how weird that'd be. But uh, I'm actually also traveling to, you know, just have a good time on a road trip, you know, explore the area, you know. Just have a look at Tasmania, and also, because, um, 80% of you guys are gonna relate to this, but, uh, there's a friend that I'm gonna meet in Tasmania, and, uh, can you guess who that is? Oh, it's first timer! I mean, it feels great to, you know, reunite him again, especially since, you know, he's really high profile, and, you know, I haven't seen him in a while. I've actually only seen him once, but, uh, I'm going there again since, you know, um, passionate about these kind of things and you know i probably said the word passionate a lot huh you know i'm gonna make a couple of videos with him and you know that's gonna be great uh that's also gonna boost my subscriber count not that it matters but you know a benefit's a benefit you know actually both of the videos are only gonna be done on his channels and i'm only gonna be making these kind of vlogs uh because i'm only there in his house for like one day i'll probably come back to it on day five but i don't think i'm gonna have enough time so i'll show you what my plan is for just today you know day one because this video only contains day one so basically today we're going to be traveling from uh sydney which is right over here uh, i'm not going to zoom in more so i don't expose my location uh so basically we're going to be traveling from sydney all the way down M31, past Goulburn, you know, past Aubrey, where we're going to actually stop for some lunch, both for me, my dad, and uh, the car. Uh, I'm going with my dad today, by the way, uh, since, you know, I'm not over 18. I might not get access to, like, you know, the hotels or, like, you know, the, even the, to board the cruise ship or even access, like, the Victorian border since, you know, um, their minimum provisional age is 18 and... For New South Wales is 17, that's why I got my license. Uh, I'm 17 years old and 5 months. Then we're going to be travelling all the way down from Albury down to Melbourne. And um, that's going to be, according to Google Maps, an 8 hour and 32 minute trip. 
and um we need to be on the cruise ship by 6 p.m i think it might i might actually have been seven but uh we're going up there at six because you know we get more time to be on the cruise ship and you know we could enjoy and you know if there's anything going wrong you know if there's any like delay in the check-in then we could still like just take our time all the way to melbourne so um that's why we're going at six so it's an eight hour and 32 minute trip so six minus eight equals so we should depart by 9 30. So why am I awake at freaking 4 o'clock? Like, earlier than 4 o'clock. Well, here's the thing. As mentioned before, I'm a provisional driver. Uh, I'm on my P1, so that means I could only drive at a maximum of 90 kilometers per hour. Uh, the M31 Hume Highway has a limit of 110, so that's what speed the normal drivers can drive at. So that's what Google Map calculates, but I can't drive that fast, so I can only do 90. So that probably adds, like, about an hour an hour and 30 minutes to the trip. Honestly, my dad's gonna be there, so he could drive 110 since he's fully licensed. He's been driving for like 30 years now. So he could drive like whatever speed he wants. Well, not whatever speed he wants. Uh, you still have to obey the road laws, which is uh, 110. So he could drive 110, but I could only drive 90. So I'm gonna let him drive for about like, you know, two, two or three hours since, you know, I need a rest. But I'm gonna do majority of the driving since, you know, this is my trip. Um, he's only there because, um, under 18 and also, you know, because he wants to visit the area, uh, not to be arrogant or anything. I never actually wanted him to come, but then like, you know, I'm, I'm afraid like I probably can't even go, go on a cruise ship or like stay in a hotel or anything. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm bringing my dad along. Once again, we're also stopping at Aubrey for about like an hour, an hour and a half. So that adds even more time to our trip. And if you add eight hour and a half plus one hour because, you know, I'm a provisional driver and also plus another hour and a half because when we stop at Aubrey, that makes the whole trip 11 hours. So we're technically departing at 7 p.m. We're also adding like a half an hour safe gap just in case there's any traffic. So so we have to depart at 6.30 a.m. So if, if, I, if we're departing at 6.30 a.m., then why the freak did I wake up at like 4.22? And actually I've woken up way earlier than that and that's because my nervous system during the middle of the night just decides oh my god oscar just wake up i have no idea why it's probably because like you know all these other nights i've just been staying up really late and you know doing random things so that's why i probably like what just completely just woke up at during the middle of the night so um, i'm gonna do some last minute packing again uh, i've already loaded everything to my car so like my monitor my pc uh you're probably wondering why i brought my monitor and my pc that's uh, because you know it's required quiet for the filming and also because you know i kind of want to do work once i get to tasmania so you know i brought my computer i brought my monitor and you know, all my essentials like clothing you know towels and whatnot so i think i should be good to go oh my gosh my laptop was not plugged in this entire time I, and i had an alarm set now thank god i woke up in the middle of the night this thing is not booting up oh wait, oh wait never mind it did look at that oh my god that could have been so bad but um, anyway, as you can see, I've got an alarm set here for 5.22. Uh, the reason I set an alarm on my laptop as well is because um, it's louder. The, the speakers here are louder, so I could definitely hear it. As opposed to my phone, which is like, you know, just muffled. I'm going to cancel that alarm and uh, I'm going to let you charge for a bit. And then I'm going to uh, pack you up. I'm not going to be bringing this iPad since it's partially broken. So, uh, yeah. I'd also like to mention my computer setup looks weird with one monitor missing and you know no pc over here as you can see i also broke half of it while disassembling it uh clumsy me i actually forgot to bring a towel like while i was packing last night so i'm gonna be bringing that onto the luggage which is already on the car this is a new way to vlog mirror vlogging look at this i could just use my back facing camera for recording my face because the quality is higher that way so why not? i should probably do my hair right now so um there we go. Not that much difference, but you know, now it'll stay that way. I'm gonna go change it a little bit and uh, I'll bring the camera back on if there's anything interesting. By the way, if you thought the 100 piece of paper that I had in my YouTuber critique video was fake, it's not fake. Look, I can literally, I actually printed it off. Look, I can wave it around. Look at that. And it's, I actually printed it off. There's a waste of magenta and yellow ink, but you know, it. It's printed. You know, it's so sad that, you know, I could print off a hundred emoji piece of paper. But today I can't even drive at a hundred kilometers per hour because of the freaking New South Wales regulations. So, yeah. All right, now that everything's set, it's time to leave my house 
and head to Tasmania. I'm gonna go pick up my dad first, uh, since he lives in a different house than me. Uh, and then it's go time. We'll get on the Hume Highway all the way to Melbourne and then we'll catch the spirit of Tasmania and we'll be there and it'll be awesome. So um, let's go. I literally have so much stuff on my left hand, legit. And then I have to carry my camera with the right hand. So um, that's gonna... That, that, that's not gonna look good. All right, so I'm right at my car now, and um, this is a thing that's gonna take me to Tasmania. I better hope you don't break down. As you can see, uh, my computer and my monitor is fit right in here. Risky move, but um, I'm taking this move, whatever. Just so that when I get to Philip's house, you know, I can um, you know, get Diana to do a video on this. And also, I can edit videos while in my hotel because my MacBook is not powerful enough to do this. So I swear to God, this thing's probably gonna break when I get there. I don't even know. Now guys, before I head out and pick up my dad and, you know, head to Melbourne and eventually to Tasmania, I want to ask one big favor for you guys. I want you all to like this video right now. It's as simple as that. Can we get this video to uh, 17 likes? That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, also, while you're at it, why not subscribe and, uh, you know, turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Guys, I just realized that those two likes were on the whole freaking night. So um, I'm not sure if this car can even start now. Oh, I was overthinking it. That, that was easy. Uh, I, I better turn it off because I need to still sell off a couple of stuff. Because like when, whenever you like turn on the lights for so long during the middle of the night, right? That thing like... All of its battery runs out, and since the car has no electricity inside the system, it's probably not going to start up, but it did that completely fine, so I'm... Um, thank God! So now, I'm going to start mounting my GoPro onto the windshield, so that, you know, I could get dash cam footage. It's pretty low battery right now, but that's not bothering me, because I have a charging cable down there. Okay, so now it's completely mounted, and uh, by the way, look at this. Over here, I have like a um, piece of cardboard that has the 100 emoji and says subscribe to Mighty Eagle 73. <laughs> this is basically just to um, prevent too much sun from getting into my GoPro so that it doesn't overheat because I'm going to be charging this thing while using it as well. So the battery level was really low, so I just plugged it in. And uh, as you can see, I have 12 hours and 37 minutes of footage. So that should be enough to film the entire trip to Taz. Um, yeah, I'm going to start recording there. And uh, this is going to be the last time I use my phone. Since everything is set, uh, I have a bit more of water here. I'll place that at the back and uh, I think we're ready to go. Just an update on the time. It's currently 6.10 right now. So yeah, more you know. Okay guys, so now I'm filming on my GoPro and uh, I'm gonna go pick up my dad. That sounded really wrong because normally it's my dad's gonna pick me up, but you know, I'm picking up my dad because you know, I, I'm driving this car. So yeah, let's head out right now and uh, I'll just uh, get out of this parking lot. It's not really a parking lot, it's just like a um, side parking kind of thing. It's not really enclosed. Normally you call like a parking lot, a place with a roof, but this place does not have a roof. So yeah, let's go. All right, so um, I think I should remember the way to get there. Um, I don't have Google Maps right now. I should have Google Maps, but I don't. This is my first time vlogging and driving, guys. Uh, I'm not even sure if that's even a good idea, but um, I'm doing it. All right, guys, as you can see, this is the M5, uh, just from that road sign over there. Um, this is the M5, uh, just beneath, beneath us. Uh, we're gonna get on that soon. Um, it's actually gonna be called uh, the M31 once we get closer to the highway. Um, it's called M5 right now, so. Once, I think once we get to like Liverpool, it, it starts renaming it to M31. Hume Highway, and then now it's just called, you know, N5, I need to switch to left lane. And that, that same highway that you were just looking at, spans 800 and something kilometers all the way to Melbourne. So, um, it's pretty impressive that that same highway that I was just showing you right now, is also the same highway that we're gonna take to Melbourne. So yeah, the more you know. Sydney geography, guys. I like how right now, as I'm driving down Moxon Road, it kind of sounds like Moron Road, but you know, it's one letter off. You guys can't see my face, but you know, I'm just talking the camera. But you know, the GoPro only has one camera. It doesn't really have a camera at the back. It only has one at the front. So yeah, you're only gonna hear me guys. You're not gonna see me for like, when I'm on the road trip. You're only gonna see me when, you know, I'm on my phone and I'm stationary in one place. 
Guys, you know, sometimes I hate having like divorced parents because of the situations like this where I have to go pick up my dad because you know we don't live in the same place. So yeah, uh, just for married couples out there, enjoy your marriage when you still can because uh, when you get divorced, you won't live in the same place and your kid can't really see you anymore that often. So yeah. How often do you hear the words, pick up my dad? That sounds so wrong. Oh my God. Watch this, I'm gonna switch two lanes at once. I checked my blind spots, everyone, so that's completely fine. Oh my God, that felt great. And now I'm gonna switch back because I realized that this lane is only meant for left turning. Damn it. It literally says that left lane must turn left. Oh my God, that could have been bad. Why is the traffic so early in the morning? What the heck? Like, I get that like, you want to go to work, but like work starts at 9. What, what are you doing out here at 6? Like even if work starts at 8 for you, you don't have to be up that early. Freaking hell. Oh my god, this road work just jammed the entire road. Like what the heck? Oh my god, now I'm going to be late for the spirit of Tasmania. Oh, sometimes guys, you run into unlucky situations. This is one of them. But hey, we all learn from our mistakes, so it's all good. Gate 1, UHF 9. No idea what that means, but um, interesting. Now it says gate 2, UHF 9. And then soon we're gonna see another gate 3, UHF 9. And finally, gate 4, UHF 9. These fuel prices make me happy. Last time I remember the fuel prices was something like 140 something. But now it's only 97.9, and that feels absolutely fantastical. Oh, look, there's my dad. Okay, I've just I'm just pulling up now and uh, yeah, um, I'll pick him up. Here he is guys. He's just I don't know what he's doing. Come on. Don't be so serious. What are you so serious? Really? You're so serious. Huh? I said you're serious. Come on. Do you want to tell the audience hello? Okay, I'm going to first take out things. How are you? Huh? Are you coming now? It's already 6 o'clock. 现在差不多六点半了，你先你现在先不过去。我说你吃不吃东西？你可以喂我吧，我开车啊，我有点忙啊，明明白。我觉得你应该是，是先吃东西先。OK OK OK。Alright, guys. So um, now that I've picked up my dad, I'm gonna start heading to the M5, and which is gonna become the M31, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be. Oh, thanks. I don't even know what language I've got from speaking now. My dad just bought me a burger here and now I'm eating it with joy. Alright guys, we're about to head on to the M5 now. So, um, just the right turn here and we're gonna stay on this road for 800 more kilometers. So, yeah. And we are here. So now we accelerate to 90 kilometers per hour and, uh, it says 100 there, but I'm not allowed to drive 100, so okay, okay, 800 kilometers, guys. Let's uh, let's do this. We are at Liverpool right now, which is uh, not the Liverpool in England, which contains this football team, but uh, the Liverpool in Sydney, a suburb which is uh, not that bad. It's not like an expensive suburb or anything, but uh, in one kilometer, the M7 is about to split from the M31. This road is about to be renamed to M31, so uh... Okay, so now we're on the M31 since, you know, the M7 split, so... This 100 zone is going to turn to 110 zone pretty quick, if I remember correctly. Still 100, which is weird, but okay. Oh, now it's switched to 110. Nice one. Why is this a four-lane road? Is it really supposed to be that much traffic here? Melbourne is in 802 kilometers. Nice. So like we're in the outskirts of Sydney or something. So like we're in the like a really edge of it. I think we're still in Sydney. So like just in the edge of Sydney because we haven't reached Canada. Yeah, you know what's the worst part about being only able to drive at night? It's when freaking trucks overtake you. Like this big thing is going faster than me in a small car. It just doesn't feel right. I like how whenever there's like a, a huge uphill section, like there's an extra left lane since like, you know, slow like big trucks and all They have to just start using the left lane Because otherwise they would be really slow Since they don't have the power A31, wow what a joke 
Uh, gold wind is at 66 kilometers. Uh, Melbourne is at 739. So we're approaching there. We're slowly approaching there. But um, I'm gonna actually switch over when we reach gold wind because you know I'm actually getting a bit tired now. So at 66 more kilometers, and then this car is gonna be 20 kilometers per hour faster. Okay, I just arrived in this random place in uh, Goulburn and um, I don't know, I just I just followed the GPS and now I'm just switching over to my dad right now since um, you know, oh, I've had yeah. a, I had a bit of an enough. This looks like just a normal like neighborhood thing. It's not too different from Sydney. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing Let's Explore again, but um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a nice place. Uh, one thing that happened mid drive right is that uh, this GoPro just. Mm completely just like died while i was like driving like it was way too hot it just it just powered off so um, now i have to let it rest because <laughs> then i don't want the battery to explode so um yeah okay i've switched over so that my dad's driving now and uh, i'm now recording on my phone because my i don't know what's up with my gopro i think i'll just let it like rest for a bit and have a full battery and then just keep going so He's driving and uh, yeah, he could drive at 110 kilometers per hour, something I can't do, so yeah. There is Goulburn train station. This is the furthest train station away from Central Station or like Sydney. There is that runs on the intercity trains network. Okay, it's gone. I'm just completely not using my GoPro right now, I'm just letting it charge since like it's overheating when Turn I charge it over there, so like yeah. And we're back on the highway now. So yeah, now he could drive however fast he wants. Well, not however fast, it's 110. But um, I'm gonna try and uh, get some sleep. You know, when he starts getting tired, I'm gonna take over again. Cause you know, I like driving, he not as much, so yeah. So right up ahead is um the M23 split. So if you go there. Yeah, so if you need to go here, it's to Canberra, so. A lot of people take this exit because it's to Canberra. Like a lot of people take Sydney to Canberra, and not as many people take Sydney to Melbourne. So um, from now on, we're gonna have a quiet trip. Okay, so the GoPro is like back online again, but like it's probably gonna overheat again, like probably an hour into the journey. So I'll let you know how it goes, but um, I don't know. Melbourne is 654. I think this GoPro just overheated again. There's like a light at the front of this thing, but like it's not turning on. So I think it's just, I don't even know what's wrong with it. All right guys, we're arriving in like a small town called Aubrey and um, yeah, just some lunch and then we'll be on our way back to Melbourne. All right guys, so now we're in like the kind of the so-called Aubrey CBD kind of place. So um, now just finding a parking because we're going to this one restaurant. There's not even any parking here. It's a it's a CBD, and um, we're kind of stumped because there's no parking. Aubrey CBD, guys. Finally, Let's explore 2.0. This is Aubrey CBD. We got a HCF here, and um, a jewelry store called Corona. Wow, that's. That fits the current situation pretty well. Corona. Wow. Is that a Santa Claus on a bike? What the <laughs> heck? That is, what? I, I didn't even, I'm not gonna ask. I'm not, I'm also asking questions. This, this is the restaurant. So this is gonna be your lunch sorted. And um, well lunch sorted for like me and my dad, but lunch is still not sorted for the car, which uh, you know, we'll get to in a sec. Here it is. This costs $38. I'm pretty sure it's not worth it, but um, yeah. Look at that Christmas decoration. Wow. Alright, now we've just finished our lunch and uh, heading back to the car right now. So, yeah. Alright, now that I've finished my lunch, it's um, it's time to just head to Melbourne. Um, This car's actually still pretty full on petrol, so um, now I'm gonna take over the driving and uh, I'm gonna head to, you know, the Spit of Tasmania port and uh, that will be that and it's gonna be great. So it's gonna be 140. Uh, the lunch kind of took a while. They, we actually had to move our car because we only could park it for like an hour. And, and as you can see, it's still half full. Yes, I see the glass half full and not half empty. So I'm a very positive person. And uh, we should reach there in about like five o'clock, which is uh, plenty of time. So 
Yeah, let's go. Alright guys, we're about to enter into Victoria. We're not on the highway yet, but um, this is apparently just a bridge. So now we're in Madonga, which is in Victoria. So, um, <laughs> new state and uh, yeah, this is actually my first time driving in Victoria. Like, I went to Melbourne when I had my L's, but I didn't drive on that section because I didn't know the laws there. So, now I'm in Victoria and everything's great. This place is called Wodonga. It's named after some Aboriginal guy. You know, you've got to respect the indigenous Australians. They even have like road laws on how to drive in Victoria because like we probably don't even know. Interesting. We're about to get back on the highway and um, oh wow, look at that. Even the M31 art has changed. Before it looked like that, now it looks like this. New state, new design, nice. Wow, we've actually just, that's very unusual. That's uh, from high speeds to zero. What the heck? Just, I think there's like some yeah. roadworks up ahead and I have to like stop to like a more suitable speed now. This is very unusual guys, very unusual. Road surfacing, one kilometer ahead. Wow. Because apparently you have to surface during the middle of the day when everyone's driving on the same road. Wow. That also gives me the time to appreciate that the car in front of me has three bikes on top of his head. I mean, I'm not sure what this guy's intents and purposes, but um, you know, it's he's pretty impressive. Ah, so now we're getting to the zone where everything's happening. There's a tractor. Wow, guys, we're literally on gravel. Like, whenever I step on the gas, it's just like there's the stone pebbles hitting my car. Oh my gosh. Imagine imposing a 60 limit in a 110 zone. Interesting. Okay, well, now the paint zone's over and back to 110 it is. Goodbye, roadwork zone. I'm getting away from you. Oh, look at that. That's a sound barrier. Oh, it's probably pe lots of people living here then, which means we're near civilization. We're approaching Melbourne. Okay, so now we've arrived at the outskirts of Melbourne and um, we're at the petrol station now since uh, the car's stomach is finally empty. It finally wants to have lunch. Well, it's not for lunch anymore. It's for like, it's for, like morning tea. So um, they don't have the E10 here. So we'll go with the second best option, which is 91. Freaking hell, look at these fuel prices. Yeah, like yesterday I had one that was like 97.9. Now it's like 145.9. That's the fuel prices in freaking Victoria is freaking horrendous. Ah. So yeah, basically, um, I'm gonna fill up his stomach and then uh, we're gonna head towards Melbourne. I don't know why it's an 80 zone here, but um, just a couple more kilometers and Okay, we're back on the road again and uh, as you can see, I've switched over again since, you know, I can't just drive forever. I could, but like, you know, if there's an option that I don't need to drive forever, then I'll take it. So um, we're inside Melbourne City now, and uh, just a while ago, high-rise buildings in the distance, so um, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. There it is. You could barely see it, but uh, there it is, the high-rises of Melbourne. It's there. Guys, we're about to approach the end of M31. Soon, it's gonna split into, you know, both left lane and right lane is both M80. So, um, this is kind of weird to think because we've pretty much tracked the entire M31 from start to end. There we go. We're now on M80 highway in Melbourne, so no more Hume Highway now. We're on the Melbourneian highways. I don't even know if that's a deno, but yeah. Not even 10 minutes and we're already saying goodbye to M80. Goodbye, M80. Here is Essendon Fields. Something Sydney doesn't have. A private airstrip. Victoria, let's stay safe and stay open. Jokes on you, New South Wales has been open since May. <laughs> Coronavirus. I will say this though, structurally, Melbourne has a lot more like, you know, these kind of architectural designs than Sydney. Yeah, so that's pretty impressive. Oh wow, now that's just rubbing it in. That, 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 that that's just rubbing it in. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. Oh my god. It, I, it feels like I'm in Sydney right now, but I know I'm not. That's just a tall thing beep. But uh, yeah. Impressive. And yeah, why not? They have a Ferris wheel. 
Oh, nice. nice. We've arrived at Port Melbourne. Look at all those crates. We've also got off the freeway. Imagine going through a residential area to a port. Bad. That is a McLaren. That is a McLaren. Not a McLaren, but a McLaren. Okay, so now we have arrived at the spirit of Tasmania, and that is a ship we're gonna be boarding. Hello. Just you two traveling here? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Just, just behind that golf there, in that middle lane. Uh, middle lane? Yeah, second lane here. Yeah. 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 He's also in the bit. We're queuing up, guys. We're actually queuing up with all of these cars. Wow. This is the first time I'm gonna be on the cruise ship. I've been on ferries, but never cruise ships. And that is gonna be the biggest ship I'll ever step foot on. I just get someone to hop in and we have a look in the back. Pingo. Mm. Oh, okay. What's this? This one. Mm. This one. 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 Yeah, received. Okay. You received. Good yeah. job. Well right. done. No problem. Send the bigger There's other people still doing the same. Alright, so we just so go. Which which lane do we go? Yep, they go. This guy. Oh. Yeah. Put yep. the mask on, please. Okay. Fuck. Die, 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 cool. So, okay, okay, QR code. Yeah, that's right. And the second one as well. Um. Okay. Second. Second QR code. All good, man. And, uh, yep, have you been overseas in the last 14 days? No. Any contact with a positive COVID-19 person? No. Have you got any symptoms of the COVID-19? No. You're carrying any fresh fruit or vegetables? No. Any firearms, gas bottles, any fuel, flammable liquid? No. Plant seeds, any animals, any fishing equipment or fishing gear? No. You need to have a look in the boat. Okay, and you can hold sir. Out of the right hand side gate, sharp left, then first right under the terminal, okay? All right, thank you. Good luck. Yep. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Very good. We're about to go on the spirit of Tasmania after such a struggle, which I'll tell you about once we get on the ship. Freaking hell. That was funny, but it went well. So, all good. Hi, how are you? Yep. Uh, just a driver's license? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are not. Do we need. Do we need um, both of our Ds? Nah, just one of you. Okay. Yeah. I need to confirm the vehicle, that's all. Okay. Uh, these are for you. Try not to bend them. Don't bend or lose them. It's your room key, so don't bend the black bit especially. Okay. And your room number is on the boarding pass. Alright, thank you. No worries, enjoy your yep. night. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, we're going up this huge ramp. That's I think it's retractable. And uh, after that, we're finally going to be on a cruise ship after so dang long. Whoa, lots of cars, lots of workers. Right, okay. Okay. Much corridor, much wow. All right, this feels like a hotel door and I'm about to do a hotel thing. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> Keep going. No, no, try it again with the... Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> we interrupt your programming for this section of Mighty Eagle 73's Cabin Review, where we review your cabins that suit your needs. Cabin Review? This is the bunk beds up down, right, up. Here, there's a desk here, 10 out of 10. There's a view out there where we could see the sea and Melbourne city, but that's soon gonna turn into only the sea. There's even a toilet here where you could do toiletry things. There's a sink, there's a, uh, and there is a shower. I rate. 6 out of 10. Could be better, but I could not complain. Now for light review. Light review. Much flicker. Much dislike. 0 out of 10. Bad. 
Thank you for tuning in to this rendition of Cabin Review. We hope to see you all next time. So now I'm just unloading all the footage that I took on my GoPro to my computer now so that, you know, I could get it into hard drive and then, you know, I could start editing the videos. So uh, here's, here's the SD card and, uh, you know, all the footage that we shot on, on the GoPro today, which is um about 70% of the entire journey from Sydney to Melbourne. The other 30%, the GoPro overheated and it was unable to capture it. So, but 70% uh, is good, you know. If I get a 70% on the mass extension test, that would be, you know, really great. But... I'm probably only gonna get 60. At least 70 is a band E4, but 60% is a band E3. So of course I would rather get the 70. Okay, so now the SD card is loaded. Let's see how much I've shot in footage. Let's see. Wow, 221.25 gigabytes in one day. <laughs> Oh. I didn't get a 400 gigabyte SD card for nothing. Uh, anyway, now it's just time to, uh, you know, start unloading all of this onto the hard drives. And this should take about like two hours, maybe two and a half hours. And that should be enough for us to, you know, start eating something because right now it's about, you know, it's 6.31 p.m. And uh, it's about dinner time. So um, after I unload all of this into, you know, the hard drive, we're going to go see if there's anything good to eat on the spirit of tasmania ship we've also forced to wear face mask here uh which sucks because i've never worn a face mask since like i was a kid yes for this entire coronavirus outbreak i've never worn a face mask you might be wondering to yourself what the heck so yeah this is my first time ever in the coronavirus outbreak that you know i'm forced to wear a face mask and um as promised i um i told you that i'll tell you about what went wrong during like the boarding i don't think the gopro like captured all of it because once again it overheated what a surprise but basically because of the coronavirus pandemic we needed like a online permit in order to you know enter tasmania so um we did that but uh guess what my one sent completely fine but then my dad's one didn't go through so I had to redo it in my telephone number and all that. And that took like 10 minutes. That delayed our entire process. We had to requeue, And you know, that really sucked. But you know, in the end, we were able to get in here unharmed. And that's what matters. So I'm really happy that, you know, nothing went horribly wrong. Like something did went like slightly wrong, but it didn't go horribly wrong. We're in a ship. We could, you know, roam around like anyone else in a ship. We don't have a red sticker, which means basically you have to stay in this cabin. For the whole time you can't go out so um, yeah i will say this day is going swimmingly i don't even know what that means what does it mean guys what does it mean i'm pretty sure this is port melbourne and then you know other ships could lock dock here as well you know because you know there's other ports but then i'm pretty sure they're like all closed because of the beer thank you beer anyways now it's time to unload every single one of these files onto my hard drive Ooh, I have no idea how long it's gonna take. Um, I, I, I guess two hours. I'm guessing two hours. Since like in one minute, normally when I go at home, like it processes about like 1.5 gigabytes of information. So 227 should be done in about two, two hours. So what I need to do is select all of this. Command X. I can't command X all of this. What the heck? I will just go with the second best option, which is just drag and drop. So um, I've got my folder right here. And then uh, this, all of this. Is gonna go all into here 132 files so how long is it gonna take estimating time remaining i guess two hours it's actually 44 minutes wow that's so good i'm, I'm happy i'm a happy man you know since everything went great and you know it's taking less time than expected though so i should probably like plug this computer in since you know it's on 66 percent and in 41 minutes it's probably going to be down to zero and you know we're going out for dinner soon so you know we need a plan so yeah as it turns out i left my charging cable in the car should probably go get it now damn it when have you ever seen this many cars in one place before I mean, there's parking lots, but then like the density of this car is more than the parking lot. So it's very impressive. All good. Plugged. Charged. And it's ch now charging. And 28 minutes left. Okay, here we are. We're in the queue uh, to grab the you know, Watching the ship slowly depart as I eat some lunch. I was not that hungry, so I just ordered a salad. Uh, this is for my dad. It feels like an earthquake right now, but you know, it's there. 
the first number would be a six. That would have been so great. Sea salt. Probably harvested from the ocean down there. So I'm gonna take the sea salt and then just... If you look from a distance, the window is very dirty. But if you look closely... Sail ships! Take a few moments to watch the state presentation, which explains the muster and evacuation procedures for the ship. Please listen carefully to the following instructions if you are required to muster. Sorry? Just some photography work that I found on this ship that's pretty nice. Now that I've finished my dinner, I'm just going to explore the ship now. That's it's full 2.0. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Guys, there are three types of gin in this world. There's the ocean gin, meadow gin, and mountain gin. From all you know. Due to coronavirus, Admiral's gaming lounge will be closed until further notice. Wow. I wanted to gamble. Why can't I gamble? Alright, I'm back in the cabin now because um that was a completely lame and undelicious lunch so um i'm back here to check on my files and they are all exported which is top notch unfortunately gopro has this thing where they only limit files to like four gigabytes so um they have to like split up all of my video files so um that's that by the way now that i'm far enough from like you know melbourne and all the cellular towers now I have no more signals, which means no Wi-Fi and no access to internet. For some reason, I can't even connect to like the Spirit of Tasmania Wi-Fi, so um, I'm just stuck here. No internet, so you know, the only thing I can enjoy is, you know, the cruise ship. Safety information. Greek. English. German. French. We're at deck 10 right now, the highest deck in the entire ship, and um, I'm gonna go watch the sunset. And you guys are gonna join me. It's just a view up here from Deck 10. It's pretty beautiful. And here are some kids playing on the Xbox system on the cruise ship. I kinda wanna join them right now, but then like, I'm like double their age, so um, <laughs> probably not a good idea if I approached them, but uh, as you can see, this ship actually has an Xbox system that we can play on. It's great. Okay, that's enough of Deck 10 for the day. Let's uh, go back down to Deck 7 and view the sunset from there. The sun is slowly going down as we leave mainland and into Tasmania. A funny story, this is actually gonna be my first time in a different landmass in two years. You know, I've always just been in, you know, the big Australian island, but um, now I finally get the chance to go to Tasmania. The weather's a bit cold out here, you know, it's a bit windy, so um, you know, probably not the ideal conditions to watch a nice sunset, but um, you know, Right. All the fun areas are closed, and right now this is just the next best thing. So, I don't mind. Just a view from uh, the back of the ship as we leave the mainland. Really beautiful. Okay, there we go. The sun has set. Uh, you can't really see it because it's so cloudy. It's gonna kind of ruin my shot. Anyways, as you can see, it's getting quite dark now, and uh, you know there's still nothing to do back there. So um, this is where I'm gonna end it right here. Um, I'm actually getting some signal now because we're between the two heads of like that Victoria place where it kind of I don't even know how to describe it. it, it it's this place. I, I'll show it up on screen right now. So it's like 
it's a place between like Queenscliff and like Sorrento. So yeah, that's where I'm going to end off this episode here. I uh, hope you guys have all enjoyed. And if you have, make sure you hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can get to 17 likes once again. Uh, also, subscribe to this channel if you're new. And uh, I'll see you guys all in my next episode on day two. Where I drive down all the way to Hobart and finally get to meet Philip. So I'll see you there. Make sure you tune in for that episode. I'm going to go take a shower now. And then I'm going to head off to sleep. So um, goodbye. <laughs>